Okay, I had a question about changing speeds on a gas furnace blower. Um, I wanted to start out by the multi-speed blower. Multi-speed blower is going to have a common. Now, most of the time the common is white, as in this one. That one has to go to, this is a 120 volt motor, that will go to the white coming in from the power. This is generally not switched. This is always, usually always hooked up to power. Okay, we have red is low speed, blue is medium low, Y is medium high, and black is high. Now most of them are, are that way. I won't say everything's that way. There is, and I forget the brand, but there is a brand that uses a purple common which is giving me no end of trouble because I'm partially red-green colorblind. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's a color code for these motors. The thing we're really concerned about here, you want to make sure that the common is always hooked to one side of line. If you get the common to say red, and then you put your uh, power to blue, it'll burn out immediately. You don't get any chance on this, guys. It's dead it's the minute it hits it. I will uh, burn up a motor or two when I get around to it, and you can watch them go pop, bang, and smoke. It's pretty embarrassing, too, because the whole house knows you did it because the fan starts up and blows smoke all over the house. So, anyway, I want to make sure that W is always hooked up to one side of the line. Uh, and we... The other thing is that you don't want to get two of these hooked to power at the same time. The furnaces are set up so that it's hard to do that, especially the newer furnaces with the IFCs. And I'm mostly going to be showing about how to set this up for an IFC. Okay, before we do any uh, motor change, speed changes, uh, be sure you've cut your power from the furnace. Uh, when you took the furnace door off, it should have shut it off with the door switch but they're not always hooked up, so make sure your power's off before you start fooling with this thing. Okay, here we've got an IFC, and uh, the uh, fan motor uh, wires are hooked here, and I'll get you a close-up on that. Okay, the motor wires will probably be mounted along in here. This one says cool on it, so that's a cooling speed. Cool is usually a higher speed than heat, not always, but oftentimes is. This is for heat. Now these two terminals called M1 and M2, they're not hooked to anything. And I'm going to turn this thing over and you can see that M1 and M2 are right here. They're not hooked to anything on the circuit board. They are just uh, what we call parked. Uh, you don't want them to short the ground because it, if it shorts the ground it will burn out the motor too. Uh, so they put them on there just to keep them out of the way and keep them from shorting out. Now if I had say red on heat and I had a blue on M1 then I could take the blue from M1 and put it where the red is and then put the red here. You can do that, that's okay. You haven't messed with your common, you haven't put two speeds together or anything like that. Uh, this heat and cool speeds are separated by a relay, so it'll work fine. Uh, I don't actually recommend you reducing the speed. You can reduce the speed, but you better know what you're doing. You need to be able to do temperature uh, uh, rises across heat exchangers and things like that if you're going to reduce the speed. So I don't recommend you do that. Uh, higher speed generally is better. You know, you can go a little too far on it, but generally higher speed is better if you can get away with it. it tends to heat the structure more evenly. And that's how to change speeds on a gas furnace that's equipped with an IFC or uh, integrated furnace control. 
Uh, I will show you how it's done with wire nuts and other things like that on different types of furnaces in another video.